Hey Taurus, welcome to your August 2021 Money, Career and Business Tarot reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Taurus, a sun, moon, rising in Venus, your general money, career and business energies for August 2021. So these are, of course, general readings. You want to use the energies, don't let them use you and apply the energies that come out in the reading to your personal situation. So thank you for joining me here. All my returning viewers, you know how much I love you guys. And if you're new here to the channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the goodness that happens on the channel. Because here, it's all about giving you the intuitive information you need to manifest your wildest dreams. So let's get into your reading. So Taurus, we're going to start with this deck to see the energies you're coming into August with. These may be energies top of mind, maybe your energetic theme for the month ahead. So let's see what we have for you. Taurus, what is going on? Let's see what we have for you. Oh, we have the tower, the Uranus energy. And we have the four of swords. Okay, so something is shaking, rattling, and rolling your world to get you out of some sort of situation where you've been in a holding pattern, all right? So it's interesting. I think this is energy you're coming into August with because we had one world ending and another world beginning in last month's energy. So it seems like, and since this is the first energy coming out, it is likely that some sort of surprising shift has already manifested in your world. But, you know, energy is fluid. So this may be coming in perhaps by the 4th of August with the number four here, but something's coming in to shake you out of a rut. All right, so let's see what else we have. The Magician, beautiful. So you are manifesting, you are manifesting a powerful change in your life. If you have Gemini in your chart, please go watch that reading. I just did that reading and it's interesting that they got similar energies and I shuffled very thoroughly. So, and as I was saying to Gemini, it's like something sometimes, and I'm paraphrasing Carl Jung here, that something that has not been uh, raised to our awareness yet, it's still percolating in our subconscious, often can manifest outside and call itself fate. And it's coming in to bring awareness bring insight and to move us to the next level in our life. So with this powerful manifestation energy here, you are you have been the one manifesting this very powerful change in your life. And it really is to get you to step into your full power, the magician here. So there, there's been something where, for me, Four of Swords, and when we're asking about money, career, and business, this is status quo. This is b-o-r-i-n-g boring this is you know is there anything else to life but this you know it's like that type of thing going through the motions you want to feel alive you want to feel powerful you want to feel on point so there's energy manifesting this is this uranus you know in your sign shaking things up so that you can self-actualize to the next level of your life. All right, Taurus, let's dive in another layer deep with this deck and see what else is going on for you this month. So we're, we're taking charge, snapping out of a rut. You are on point. You are powerful. You are manifesting something new in your world. Yeah, eight of coins. Beautiful. And look, the world again. And that was such a theme last month. So you have, or you will be this month, particularly by the end of the month, because Eight of Coins for me is August Virgo season. You will be manifesting some sort of powerful, again, ending and beginning in your life, uh, depending on where you're at with this particular tower change that's been happening in your world. So... There is a change on the horizon with your work. Eight of coins here. There could be a change on the horizon with how much money's in your bank account because this card for me often looks like an accountant. He's checking his books, seeing what's going on. So, you know, there could be some beautiful success you're manifesting with this and the world and the eight of coins. So there could be, 
getting your um, getting your profile seen, raising your profile, so to speak, in whatever world you're in for your career. That's very possible. Manifesting a win type thing. But for some of you, this really could be some sort of new employment opportunity. That's very, very possible. So let's see what else we have. There's a change, another card of change with the world. All right, let's take from the top of this deck. Here you are, Queen of Coins. I love it. The Knight of Wands. Two of Swords. Five of Wands. And the Four of Coins. Okay. So it's interesting that we're getting some energies here of sitting on a fence, not wanting to see a certain situation, not wanting to make a decision. We have the five of wands here, which can be spinning your wheels type energy, a lot of nervous tension. Um, so mental tension, nervous tension in the body. But what's happening here, what's shifting this energy is the knight of wands. So I think in Leo season, because we also have Leo represented, of course, in the world card. So... Leo season, there's some sort of very strong change. The Knight of Wands, and it's so interesting, Gemini got very similar vibes with their reading. Knight of Wands with the Tower. This is something, as I said to Gemini, that's going to kick you in the rear end and get you off the fence. There's going to be something that you're heading toward. Some new situation, new manifestation, as I've already talked about. I think it's going to be good because of these the magician and the world and the eight of coins i really do so you know but it may be that you're going to be heading in a direction you weren't quite thinking you were going to go down um there's something here with shifting out this energy of doubt doubt in yourself you're not going to have time i don't think to to overanalyze and second guess I think a op very good opportunity could be brought to your doorstep by the universe. This Knight of Wands, the Tower. It may come out of the blue because of the Tower influence that's in the reading. Um, but again, it's not really out of the blue. You've manifested it yourself in some way. So with the Wands here, with the Leo here, I think Leo season could be very interesting with some sort of new possibility for your financial life. This could be maybe some sort of investment portfolio, investments you're working toward, somehow money management. So there could be a surprise with that also. It just depends on your personal situation. But eight of coins is often, of course, as we know, you're working on something. It's very vocationally oriented energy. So there is a change. Knight of Wands, there's a moving on. But at the book ends here, your energy and also this four of coins suggest to me that this change will bring some sort of better financial stability in your life. This is the type of thing where what I am feeling is that some of you may have only been working part time. Some of you may have only been or you're working full time, but earning a part time income. Right. I mean, we know how it is out there these days. So I think that it's possible if you make, if the universe brings you an opportunity, if you've been wanting to manifest a new job, you could manifest something that pays you much better, that will lead to financial stability in your life in a, in a much more uh, secure way with the four of pentacles showing up here. So, I mean, you're working very hard, eight of pentacles, on really shifting something out, bringing something new in. Uh, the status quo is not going to cut it for you anymore. And you know this. And so, you know, you're using the energy, as I like to say, as I like to say all the time. So be alert to whatever this Knight of Wands is going to bring in for you. And you're not going to be able to sit around and contemplate, should I do this or not? Which is what you have been doing. You have been kind of, I think, imagining kind of what you would like to create, to manifest the magician with some sort of new career possibility for yourself. But when it arrives, because here you are again, here you are manifesting it. When it arrives, you're not going to have time to sit around and continue this over here, two of swords and five of wands. You're going to have to respond and respond fast. That could also be the why the tower's here. Because if you don't respond fast, somebody else is going to take the opportunity. So 
keep that in mind. But I think this is very favorable with your energy showing up here and this four of coins as well. So there could be a really powerful and solid change in your finances, how much money you are earning. So it just consulted with the astrology calendar because I was like, I know Uranus is going to go retrograde and I just didn't remember the exact date. So Uranus, that's our tower. Here we go. Uranus is going to go retrograde on the 19th of August. So right around that time period when a planet stations retrograde or direct, it is very potent, very powerful energy. On the 22nd, we have the full moon in Aquarius, the second full moon in Aquarius at 29 degrees. This is in your 10th house of career if you have Taurus rising. So there is something, I think, this change, if we're looking for a timing, something coming to a head around that time period. So I would say, you know, anytime around the 16th, because we have the 16th here to the, all the way to the full moon, 22nd, 23rd, that time period. So be very, very attuned to the energies. And the thing with Uranus as you may have been discovering as it goes through your sign, um, you know, it, it brings in things really fast and it's sometimes uncomfortable, but if we're open to it, it can get us to a better place, right? So, you know, as somebody who lived through Uranus <laughs> on, on her sun sign, on her sun when it was in Aries, I can tell you that there were some, and it depends on the house that Taurus is in your chart, of course, but I can tell you that when Uranus in particular conjuncts your sun, it really helps take out structures in your life that no longer serve you. But it also can bring the lightning flash of inspiration of what you should do instead to replace something and replace it with perhaps more invention, perhaps more freedom, more autonomy, things like that. So this is, this is a big shifting month. And again, it goes back to the energies we even looked at last month. So this is very interesting. All right, let's see what else we have going on. I feel like what I'm kind of sensing is I'm feeling like what I'm feeling is like you're thinking or saying to yourself, Taurus, never in a million years would I ever do blah, blah, blah. And that's what you end up doing. <laughs> so it's like never in a million years would I ever have thought that I would have been manifesting a beautiful job opportunity, working as, working in, working for, blah, 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 fill in the blank, right? That's what I think. That's what I think. Never in a million years did I think that was going to happen because I, I've i been in this stasis for so long. I've just been this spinning the wheels, but it comes fast. It comes fast. And miracles often do. <laughs> miracles often arrive like that. So, all right, let's see. Let's dive in with the bold and the bodacious. What do we have? Ten of Wands, end of an energetic cycle. Moving on, Eight of Cups, and it's August energy, the number eight. Mm -hmm. uh, look, the Knight of Wands, again, the middle of the reading here, linchpin energy of these five cards. Ten of Coins, baby, look at that. Nice, nice, nice. And... A Knight of Pentacles. Isn't this beautiful energy? So, and it's so interesting we have two tens here because tens, of course, are about completion. Um, but notice that this other ten is coming after the change, the Knight of Wands. We just had the Knight of Wands. Where did he go? Here he is over here. So, wow. Wow. So we have an energetic cycle wrapping up. Something, again, this goes back to Uranus. Uranus shifts out energy that we are not supposed to carry anymore. We don't need to carry it. We thought we did, but we don't. Also, 
emotionally moving on. Whatever this situation was, you are done with it. Now, for some of you, it is possible. This is movement, but this is also a moving card. Ten of Wands is also a moving card. It is a card about packing up all your junk and taking it with you. <laughs> or, you know, you know what I'm saying? All your stuff that you gotta, gotta deal with. And this is moving on to greener pastures. And this, of course, for me, is very much a real estate card, this 10. And so is the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you, what the never in a million years would I ever have thought that I was going to move to Timbuktu to take this job. <laughs> so for some of you, that may be what is likely to emerge in your world. Um, or what this Ten of Pentacles is saying here is that by embracing this change that the universe is bringing and, and embracing it quickly, because it's not going to wait around, you will end up building longer term financial stability for yourself, which could lead to buying a new home, etc. So we have really lovely energies here of strong, even your energy that came out, strong and steady financial growth even you here showing up all right but something has to be dislodged something's gotta give something gotta go first as we know the old world the new world is coming in your own hand your hand will be forced you will be you will be forced by the universe to make a decision and you know and it could be very, a little unnerving. I mean, the tower can be. But I think that overall, these energies are very positive. It's going to lead to a positive change. And it's about really embracing it on all levels. Letting go of energetic burdens you don't need. And, you know, uh, this is also, yes, Nine of Wands is often like the physical exhaustion. But this is really, I can't go on anymore like this. I am just like... It just can't, it can't continue like this. And also I can't continue like this emotionally. I cannot continue trying to convince myself. That's that two of swords. Convince myself that all of this is worth it because it ain't. So that's what I feel is going on for you, Taurus. This is big energy to take advantage of. Some of you, if you're selling a home and going on to greener pastures, you could really make some good do re mi. So again depending on your personal situation so get your plan ready of what you're gonna do all right because and pay attention especially around the 16th to the 22nd ish 23rd ish okay taurus let me know what's going on with you with this energy because it's kind of intense but that's uranus that is uranus when it transits through your particular sign get ready <laughs> get ready all right. I love you guys. Take care. I will see you again soon. Stella Wild signing out.